What's up, Bank Squad? Tony Banks here, back at it again with another video. Hopefully, everybody is having a great day today. This is such a big thing in Call of Duty as of now. Since Advanced Warfare, this thing was brought in supply drops. Supply drops have changed this game so much because it gives the developers, it gives the company, Activision, the opportunity to make that extra money off of us after the game has launched but it also gives us an extra opportunity to get better stuff in the game i.e guns maybe cooler stuff for our characters camos stickers a whole bunch of different things but supply drops are a bad thing in my personal opinion you know there are some good things that can come out of supply drops but for the most part i do think it is a bad thing but there is a way that you can use these microtransactions in a good way that it doesn't really make the community upset. The way that I think it should go is the way it was in COD 4 Remastered and also in World War II. We have supply drops in those games, but at the same time, if they wanted to add extra guns with you know the supply drops and everything and those two games there were actually other ways to go about it to get those guns so you didn't have to grind supply drops you didn't have to you know waste a whole bunch of money to get that one gun that you wanted which it does suck when it comes to that fact but then at the same time you have games like black ops 4 that took the whole microtransaction thing to the next level and that really took the community out of the way. There were guns that were so OP that, you know, nobody wanted to play this game and they locked it behind a paywall. Granted, they did give us, you know, weapon bribes and things like that, but for the most part, the only way for you to get this was actually paying a price to get it. And I heard people paid up to, you know, 1,500 to actually get one of these guns. It was either the crossbow or the stingray and, and it, it it's bad and i honestly don't think i should say i personally don't want to see modern warfare go in that direction i don't mind the supply drops the supply drops could be used in a good way but they have to do it in a way that isn't going to hurt the community but it's also going to help them you know make money which i understand they're a company companies need to make money to to be able to survive granted activision is a big company and they have made tons and tons of money but with every new game coming out, you're going to have to, you know, keep your revenue going up. So I understand where it does come from with them, you know, implementing the supply drops and the microtransactions. But for this sake, for this game's sake, if we could do it the right way so far, everything I love about my I love everything about Modern Warfare. And I just would hate to see this game fail or this game go into a different direction due to microtransactions and also supply drops. So. My thing is, if you're going to do the supply drops, yes, obviously have it to where, you know, you can get things that are in the supply drop other ways, like um, not necessarily, like like I said, in other Call of Duties, you can, or I think all of them pretty much, if you played the game, you got supply drops or you got some type of in-game currency to where you can get a supply drop. Continue that, make that a big factor in the game, as well as, you know, Yes, having people wanting to actually pay because there are people who don't want to grind the game and who would just rather pay the money to get the items, do that, but then also at the same time, offer a way to get the certain things that are in the supply drop away on its own. Because maybe, you know, with the supply drop, I just want one thing. Maybe the supply drop will grant you three things. I don't want the other two. I just want this special sticker. I just want the special camel or maybe even a certain gun. Guys, I don't want to see Modern Warfare fail because of this. Games have went in the wrong direction in the past, and this game has a potential of being one of the best Call of Duties within the last couple of years, and like I said, I would hate to see it fail because of that, but we will have to see how everything does go. Definitely, 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 they will have microtransactions. Might not be for the first couple of months, but definitely they will put those microtransactions in there, but we'll have to see how everything does go. But if you guys did enjoy today's video and want to see more videos from me, you already know what to do. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And while you are there, make sure to press the bell button right next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time I do upload a new video. I'm Tony Banks, and I'll see you wonderful subscribers in the next one. Peace out.